tried all the rest? Learn from the best. Join WDGLC.com today. Hey there again, everybody. Wayne D. here, and this is part three of my favorite swings. And, uh, of course, amongst the great, most interesting swings of all time is uh, Gary Player, probably the most underrated golfer in history. Winner of nine majors, pioneer in exercise, fitness. Now, the more I look at this, the more I see a lot of similarities to what McElroy does with his arms. You can see the, the handle drop a little bit, the right arm stays more to the side a little bit, but just that awesome body control allows him to not straighten the arm out at impact, but to actually get it to go past him and straighten out to the left. So it's kind of an interesting look. You check it out from behind. See a lot of that. A lot of that in Matt Roy's swing, certainly. So it's an awesome player. Player. <laughs> now this guy really lit it up at the Ryder Cup. Also won a WGC tournament. Ian Poulter. Pretty little swing here. Just really good mechanics. Can't really complain about anything with him. It's sort of up and down. Again, there's another example of the grip heading more down, but you know, between the feet and the ball, not necessarily out. Great shaft position there. And the hallmark of all good ball strikers. Perfect shaft control. confidence that he gained from holding all those putts and winning those matches I think uh, you can see him doing some serious damage now. I think this is a love this guy Alvaro Kiros he's a stud I don't know why he didn't play better this year but with this action I figured as far as he hits the ball as long as he can find it he ought to be winning so there's a more of that vertical shaft to kick back and hands out. I just say it's fun to watch him mash the thing. Justin Rose. Boy, he played great this year. He just keeps getting better. So, the swing has changed quite a bit. He's worked with uh, Sean Foley. It's gotten a little tighter to his body. Not quite as upright. Learn the Pivot Compression Golf Swing. Join WDGLC.com today. Again, great control in the takeaway, great positions, love that wrist and that first move forward, really like that. Now here we got a little more of a right arm chase release. Now, even though that seems like it might be have a sensation of down the line. Look where the head goes. Can't go down the line. It just maybe doesn't go as left as much quite as fast because the right arm is going to straighten a little bit more out to the right. Alright, let's move over to one of the best looking swings you'll ever see. Charles Schwartzel.
Another in between move coming forward. Now this guy's built like like a greyhound, just a like zero body fat kind of guy. Just great mechanics. Let's see the club come right up to his hands, above the forearm, elbows level, shafts perfect at the top. Look at this. Just got that super steep angle with the body there. Just such a clean look. Knee flexed. Just awesome. One thing you don't really see very much of is you don't see many shafts steepening in transition. You almost always see the shaft kick back and the body rotate as the club drags. And then most of these guys are going to keep that club above that right forearm and then move it around to the left and through. Just a tiny bit of lowering for shorts on. He's not a big. Uh, Big dropper. And here's a guy I just did a video on Jeff Sluman. I really like his swing. I mean, you gotta you gotta love a guy that's about five six, weighs about 135 pounds, and doesn't really give up anything off the tee. I mean, he can launch it. I always said he had probably the the best lower body movement through impact that I've ever seen. He just he just lets it go and flushes the thing. Watch this one a couple of times. I mean, just look at that. You can just imagine that ball is being hit. Oof. All right, slamming Sammy. Now initially, when I was reviewing his swing, I I thought to myself, boy, look how far right he's aiming. But what I realized is he doesn't really aim right. He just pulls his right foot back and flares it, which accentuates the ability to take his right hip up and back and make a, a centered turn, and a huge turn at that. And he just let the whole thing come out and around and whipped it around to the left. And this whole thing was supremely natural. You know, I doubt if he could have explained very well the heck he was doing. Certainly one of the great swings of all time. Now look at that right foot. You see how flared that thing is and the size of that hip turn. Left heel up, tiny little bit of right load, big swing here, big and full, and that's one of the reasons why he was good for so long. Now, this year, Tiger really. I thought played some great golf. Really liked his the way his swing looked. I can find a couple of good shots. Oh, that was <laughs> that was the one in the divot. Figures I'd choose that man. You know, no matter what you talk about with Tiger's swing, he's he's got one of the great golf swings. No matter what he does. I started liking this thing more this year when I when he stopped dropping his hands straight down and started to bring him a tad bit out toward the ball more this way. That got his arm a little more freedom in front of him. And could take it around to the left a little easier, but uh, certainly you can always do yourself right by studying Tiger Swing. Now, 
it comes to interesting swings, there's not a more interesting than Lee Trevino. If you like golf, it's got to be one of your guys. I like, I like watching this particular shot, especially when the guys were talking about Tiger's steep, di steep divots with his wedges. <laughs> Trevino hits explosion shots. Probably the greatest wedge player to ever walk the planet. And if you ever see Trevino hit wedge shots, it's like you could use a seismograph to measure the impact into the ground. Just a great controller of the ball. Now, Yanni Singh, I don't know, she had the some huge slump, but prior to that slump, she was like killing everyone. Anyway, I thought this swing was pretty cool, though. There it is. So the nice swing. I like that out move. Shaft lays back. Nice shaft control. Good arc through. Good stuff. Now here's an old timer you see very often. Ken Venturi. So this is kind of a variation on a Jason Duffner. Except Venturi got his right arm pretty deep there and then pulled it back in and around. And went back around to the left. Pretty cool swing. Again, I wish these guys would just leave all the slow-mo out of this. That great action there. Right there. Beautiful. Now you can just study right from here to there. Alright, just a couple more. Lee Westwood. Now, I think this is pretty cool. Look at those arms. How strong is he? Have his arms bent like that and hit the. As, he hits it as good as anybody on the planet. It's just cool. I guess you don't really have to have your left arm straight. strong as he gotten. I mean, he is jacked these days. Or is a swing guy. I really like Charlie Wee. One of these days, he's just going to win two or three tournaments in a row. This guy can really hit the ball. Great player. There's a beautiful looking swing, too. You just gotta love it. Just like everything about that. So, call it what you want. It's good. All right. So there you go. There's a bunch of cool swings and they've all done some good stuff in their days.